Hey, 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 awesome people. Welcome back. Mr. C here with you. We are continuing in our fraction series. Make sure if you learn anything new, click the like and subscribe button. Join us as we continue making math understandable and challenging. This video is going to be our decomposing fractions into a sum of fractions in multiple ways, recording that with an equation using a model. This is our practice problems video. If you didn't catch the teaching video, it is in the description below. Check that out if you need a refresher or if you haven't seen it yet. Also in the description below, you will find all of our fourth grade fractions videos in a playlist for you and third grade fractions and second grade fractions. Those playlists are all linked in the description below. Check those out if you need a refresher or if you were just joining us, welcome. This video again is going to be our practice problems for decomposing fractions to add them together. All right, let's get started. As I say before we start every problem, ladies and gentlemen, at the beginning of our videos, make sure you have a growth mindset. Use your mistakes today to help you get better. Do not give up if you make a mistake. Use it, find it. Our mistakes help our brain grow. If you make a mistake, find where that is. Don't give up, persevere, stick with it. Remember, you may not know how to do something just yet. Yet is the key word. You gotta practice and stick with it. Don't give up. So. This video here, we're gonna do some practice problems. If you missed the teaching video, make sure you check that out. It is in the description. Let's jump into this first problem. We've got the fraction five, six. And what we're gonna do here is draw a model because that's just super helpful to get us started. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle here on the screen to represent five, six. I'm actually gonna draw it a little bit bigger than that. Come on now, Mr. C. There we go. So drawing a rectangle, a model for us, and we are taking the fraction 5, 6, and we are trying to de decompose that fraction into a couple fractions. We're trying to add a couple fractions together to equal 5, 6, okay? And again, you may find other ways to solve this. I'm just gonna show you the way I'm thinking. Feel free to pause me at any time, try it on your own, see if we come up with the same one, or if you come up with a different one, just double check. Our goal is to decompose five, six, and you can do that several ways. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this model and divide it into six equal sections. There's one, two, three, that should be six. One, two, three, four, five, and six, there we go. And what we need to do, let me fix that last one. It's a little bit off, there we go. So what do we need to do here is try to figure out how could we decompose five, six. And I'm gonna use pink in this first one. So five, six, let's just kinda see what that would look like. So let's color in five out of the six sections. So one, one fit, oh, excuse me, one six, two six, three six, four six, five six. Five out of the six are colored in. So what I'm gonna do here is I am going to kind of decompose this and break it up into some fractions. And I'm gonna color in, to start off, two sections. So how much is that? This is a six and this is a six. So. How many six that are colored in blue? Well, let's look, one six plus one six, that would give me two six. Let me write that a little bit better for you. There we go, two six. So the first fraction I'm gonna use is gonna be two six. So I got two six here. I'm gonna add two six to some unknown fraction. So let's figure out what this unknown fraction is gonna be. We're trying to decompose five six. So if I've got two six already colored in, I'm gonna need a little bit more here. So let's color in some more. That's a six, that's a six. How many six is that now? I've got one six, two six, three six, four six. Looking for five six. How many is that? 
Let's write these down. Okay. So we had, in the blue, we had 1, 6, 2, 6. In the purple, we've got 1, 6, 2, 6, and 3, 6. So from here to here on this fraction model is 3, 6. So if you count these fractions that we've colored blue and purple up, it should give us 5, 6. I mean, this is our goal. We're trying to decompose. We're trying to break 5, 6 into fractions and be able to add them up to give us our answer. So 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6. Let me write that down here. I almost forgot. Got to write down 3, 6 here. So our model is showing us 5, 6. Let's make sure our equation adds up to 5, 6. First thing I'm checking, denominators are the same. That means that we can add. Denominators have to be the same for us to add. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Do not add the denominators. That gives you 6. It stays the same. So take a look here. The example I use is I use 2, 6 plus 3, 6. That's the way I did it. Did you find another way? All right, I can think of another one right off the top of my head right now. Another one would be 4, 6 plus 1, 6. Add the numerators, that would be 5. Denominator stays the same. There's another one right there I just thought of. Did you come up with another one? I bet you did. Give it a shot here. Pause it, try some on your own, okay? That's the cool thing about this. We all see math a little bit differently, okay? Where'd you make a mistake at on this one? Where are you confused? What doesn't make sense? Don't give up. Stick with it. Let's try another one. So next one we have here is going to be 3 eighths. Okay, so we've got 3 eighths. I'm going to make sure it's at the top of the screen here. So 3 eighths, let's see what we can do. We're trying to decompose 3 eighths. So let's draw a model for 3 eighths. Again, some of you are probably getting to the point where you don't have to use the model, and that is awesome. I'm going to keep using it, though, because it helps to be able to see it. If you're getting really good at it and you want to try it without it, that's always cool as well. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So our goal is to decompose the fraction 3 eighths. Okay. So trying to decompose 3 eighths. And on this one, I'm going to try to do that with three different fractions. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to shade in 3 eighths so I know what it looks like. This is what 3 eighths looks like. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is see if I can figure out three different fractions. When I add them together, it would give me 3 eighths because I am decomposing 3 eighths. Let's see what we do here. Let's go with a green to start off. Let's color in this much and see how much that is. Colored in one section, that would be 1 eighth. So from here to here is 1 eighth. Okay. 1 eighth, we're looking to decompose 3 eighths, so that doesn't get me to 3 eighths just yet. Let's keep going. Let's go with a pink color. Let's color in this much. How much is that? Well, it should be another eighth. So from here to here is an eighth. Take a look. How much do we have so far? We've got one eighth in the green. We've got one eighth in the pink. If we add those together, right now we're at two eighths, right? So one eighth, two eighths. We're looking for three eighths. Let's keep going. Let's go with, uh, let's go with purple. Let's color in another section. How much is that? That should be one eighth. From here to here is an eighth. Let's take a look. So one eighth in the green, one eighth in the pink, one eighth in the purple. Adding them together, that's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. Okay, the model 
We decompose 3 eighths in the model. Now let's make sure the math equation works out. First thing I notice, denominators are the same. If they're the same, we can add. Add the numerators, here we go. One plus one is two. Two plus one is three. Denominator stays the same and our answer should be correct. There's an example right there. One eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth equals three eighths. Here's one way you could decompose three eighths. My question to you is, is there any other ways? One of the ways, some of y'all, I know you did this, all right? I know you did, don't lie to me here. I know somebody out there did this. Does that work? Denominators are the same, so we can add the numerators. Zero plus three is three. Eight over eight is eight. You know what, that works as well. But again, make sure you challenge yourself. Don't always use this. Your teachers aren't gonna be happy if you just use this one here, okay? You gotta know how to actually break it apart. This one here is kind of a little trick one, all right? If somebody was like, there isn't any other ones, you'd be like, well, here's an example, all right? So there's two of them I came up with. You may have another one. If so, that's awesome. Pause me and try and see if you can find another one, okay? It's a great way to kind of learn a little bit more. Where did you make a mistake at on this one? Okay, where are you stuck at? What's something that isn't making sense? Pause, rewatch it, go back to our teaching video, but don't rush through it, okay? Take your time, find that mistake. Don't give up if you made one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've got one last one here for you. It is going to be the fraction nine tenths, okay? And in this one here, I am actually not going to draw a model. I'm gonna kind of try to just visualize this one in my head. Okay, I'm gonna do it with different colors, but I'm gonna visualize it. And feel free to kind of try this challenge one with me without drawing a model. But again, I will never say don't draw pictures or use your fingers or anything like that. If they help you, do it, okay? There is nothing wrong with using visuals to help you learn, okay? But I'm gonna challenge myself here and see if I can do it in my head. So I've got 9 tenths and I'm trying to decompose this fraction, okay? So I'm trying to break it apart into different fractions that when I add them together, they would give me nine tenths, okay? So if I think about this, let's say I had the fraction five tenths, okay? Five tenths plus what? would give you nine tenths. Does anybody know? Well, think about it. If we did one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, that's how we would get five tenths here. How many more tenths do we need to give us to nine tenths? Well, let's keep counting. Six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, I'm counting on my fingers right now, you can't see me, but I'm counting on my fingers, and what I just got on my fingers was four tenths. Five plus four equals nine. Denominators are the same, we don't change it. Five tenths plus four tenths gives us nine tenths. Okay, let's see if we can come up with another one. Let's come up with another one. So, let's see, what else could we do? What about this? Okay, what if we have, hmm, let's say we have seven tenths and we're trying to decompose nine tenths. So seven tenths plus what would give us nine tenths? Well, think about it. Visualize it in your head how much is seven tenths? One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths. How many more tenths do we need to get to nine tenths? Well, I'm gonna use my fingers here. Eight tenths, nine tenths. I'm counting two more tenths. We need two more tenths. Seven plus two equals nine. Denominator stays the same. And there's another example for you. Seven tenths plus two tenths equals nine tenths. All right, this one here, I'm gonna really challenge you on this one. Okay, I'm gonna really challenge you on this one. I'm actually gonna move this over a little bit. So let's say we're trying to decompose nine tenths. I'm gonna blow your mind here, okay? 
what if we did this? One tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth. Are you catching on what I'm doing here? Plus one tenth plus one tenth. What am I doing? I'm decomposing nine tenths into tenths. One tenth, one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, one tenth. How many times am I going to have to do that? I'm going to have to do that until I have nine tenths. And I'm probably going to run out of room here. Let me erase this and get some more room. So how many do I have so far? I've got one tenth. Two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, and nine tenths. Add all of this up, and what does it give us? Well, our denominator is going to be 10. Let's add these numerators. One tenth plus one tenth is two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths. There's just the way I did it in my head. Again, use a model if you want to. This here is just really a challenge problem. Just to say, hey, you've gotten a lot of practice with models. Can you visualize it? Can you see it in your head? Can you decompose a fraction in your head? If you're not at this point, draw a model. Never be embarrassed to draw a picture to use your hands in math, okay? So, with all that being said, if any of this is still confusing, rewatch this video. Check out our teaching video in the description below if you're lost. Okay, do not give up. Stick with it. Growth mindset. If you learned anything new at all, make sure you click the like and subscribe button. Join us as we continue making math understandable and challenging. That's all I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. C, out.